Hello. Hearing the assistant tell us that it's time to take out the garbage means that it's five o'clock. Um, fruity and nuts. <laughs> Robo, I would never. Wow, wow. Starting off, starting off with a bang. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy time zone. Happy time zone um, to everyone. Hope you're well. Uh, yeah. Did I say fruity empanadas? Because I wasn't I wasn't quite decided what flavor I was doing. I I know I'm gonna do some apple ones, but I was thinking about doing some like strawberry goat cheese situation. Um we'll see. Mostly I had to make sure I had enough like filling stuff to make them. Um 
And we'll see how much dough I make. I'm gonna make one recipe of dough and see how far that goes. And I gotta make some savory, some sweet, and then also some cabbage rolls. <laughs> I don't have a dough command yet. I should. Oh my goodness, I am the laziest. I have a lovely artist working on a stream overlay for me. Um, so I should have some redeems soon because once I get that, I'm actually gonna put it in to make it look nice. Um, it will inspire me, I have decided. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're well. Grab yourself a drink, grab a snack. Um, I had some Uts mix because I did not eat lunch today. So I was uh, kind of starving. I'm realizing that I have like weirdly shaved face right now. Um, but that doesn't matter because we're here to cook. <laughs> I didn't know that snail had made it into an emote. My goodness. Uh, I actually wrote out my plan today, so I'm gonna get going on that. Uh, ideally, I would have marinated some pork last night, but didn't. So we're gonna we're gonna do some things to help the uh, help the meat absorb some flavor. Mainly, slice it thinly and poke some holes in it. Because I know juices get into holes. I apologize. I hate it. I hate it when I do this. I don't. I'm never gonna stop. Um, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start cooking now. <laughs> Hi, Gasky. Hi, CL. Hi, it's a one. I. Those are words that I said, kind of. Nazard. It's true. This is true. Robo, Clay's been missing you in Overwatch. Oh. I better get, out, better get out my bench scraper right now before I start using my knife and make CL sad. The bench scraper has come out. Life has been busy, yeah. Bench scraper is there. But first I need to make a marinade. It was also recently Lunar New Year, and we didn't go out to get dim sum like we usually do. So I've just been craving some bao. So I'm gonna make some bao dough to use the rest of this filling. Um, but bao dough does take, it's a yeasted dough, so it does take several hours to like create. So I'm not doing that tonight on stream, but I will make it to use the rest of my chashu filling. Um, I just, the last time I made bao, I purchased chashu because you can get pretty okay stuff at Rayleigh's. Um, but I'm hoping that I can make it a little better. If you need any help, Robo, we are here, we are ready. I can get a truck if you need. So just let us know, because I will. we will absolutely help you out. I will absolutely help and I will make the husband help as well. So. <laughs> Oh goodness, what am I doing? I have a recipe. I have a recipe. And of course, like any good recipe, it starts with a bunch of sugar. He's talking over there like I didn't feed him lunch. He had cookies. I also made these, I made these banana muffins the other day. They are lovely. They are delicious. Although they kind of look like, um, they kind of look like the, uh, Infected from that show. X amount of salt. I'm running out of salt. We need more salt. I need to send the husband to uh, the store. I'm gonna use the rest of that salt tonight. <laughs> okay. Five spice. 
So you don't have five spice. Five spice is cinnamon, anise, clove, ginger, fennel. And it says half a teaspoon, but what flavor are you gonna get from half a teaspoon of five different spices? I want a tenth of a teaspoon of five different spices. It also says white pepper, which I neglected to get. So, whatever. Okay, that's my dries. And I am not gonna add food coloring because I don't care if my pork turns out being very red. I think it's correct both ways, Pickle. Also, I was just too lazy to try to put a tilde in to my keyboard, so I didn't. But I'm pretty sure you could, it might be regional also, depending on where you're getting them from, but I'm pretty sure empanada and empanada is um, pretty, they're, I, I would think they're both acceptable. I'm pretty sure. Okay. That's not rice wine, that's rice vinegar. This is rice wine. Rice wine. Also, hi Pickle, how you doing? Soy poison. This is just wine, yes. And sesame oil, which has some chilies in it because I have sesame oil with chilies, but that's all right. I'm okay with having some extra spice in here. so well. Oh, also, molasses and garlic. That's why I have this garlic sitting here. So don't forget about it. molasses it's not enough to have a bunch of sugar in here I also need molasses and then in the glaze or in the basting liquid there's also honey <laughs> so um, not not a low sugar food here although this is going on several pounds of meat so it's not too too bad but yeah it's it's pretty pretty sugary Something. Garlic. Three cloves means at least four cloves. Because who makes something with just the amount of garlic that it calls for? 
Zero people. Oh, well, that's not true. We love Fred, but he is uh, very uh, <laughs> attached to recipes. I would say it's because he's got a, like, science degree. But I also have one of those, so... <laughs> Couldn't tell you. And I am microplaning the garlic because I find it slightly easier than trying to mince a bunch. C Z, the botter himself. Hello. But the panda's in my mouth. I will. I will make pandas, and I will put them in your mouth. Bringing in that raid community. How was your programming? Did you get everything figured out? Is everyone just S tier? I think everyone's just S tier. Y'all definitely follow CZ. Definitely worth watching their streams. Thank you for that shout out. He is definitely a <laughs> VIP. Um, but I don't have any VIP. I wish I need more VIP slots. I hate that I don't have as enough. Um, because y'all should definitely also follow F Pop and Doggo Brutus. Does not look like it went through. Robo, did you get unmodded somehow? You don't have a mod tag on. There it goes. So when you when you typed the shout out command, you're yeah. Oddly enough, when you typed the shout out command, it didn't have. It's not showing your mod tag, but now your things are. So who knows? Twitch was just having a moment. But yeah, definitely follow CZ. Plays cute games. And does programming like today. Um, F Pop does heckin' cute art. There's some of the art on my reel is from F Pop, the one of the um, the coffee. So F Pop was doing just like art suggestions, and I just said, "Draw me as a lazy barista," and they created magic art out of it. It's heckin' heckin' adorable. And Brutus is a fun time and plays a bunch of games as well. And is a demon doggo. A demon so I think if I had a chance to name my dog in Marvel's Midnight Suns, I would have been named Brutus, because it's definitely a demon doggo. Um but you don't get to name any of your characters because they're, I guess, Marvel characters or something. So they gotta have their Marvel character names. Okay. So that's my sauce. And I'm supposed to reserve some of it. Reserve two tablespoons-ish? I don't know. Half of a quarter cup is two tablespoons. That sauce tastes like it should taste. <laughs> if y'all have ever had char siu bao, um, you should know how the sauce should taste. And it tastes like this. Um, and then now I need to get my pork in there. Yeah, I was thinking, I was just telling Cece that I bought some jackfruit, and I'm like, I could do this same recipe and just throw the, um, the marinade on jackfruit instead, shred it up, and it would go quite well in the, um, 
in the bow, like that. Let's see. This is this is not six pounds because this was a two pack, so it's probably about three pounds. That's just what my recipe said. This amount of marinade was four, so that's convenient. So it says cut it into long strips. This is kind of already in strips. I'm gonna cut it once this way. It also says do not trim the fat because as you roast it, the fat will render out and create flavor. So I'm just gonna cut this into some strips and get it into my liquid to marinate. This is also my second try of this, and it's a good thing I had some more pork in the freezer because I definitely defrosted some pork and meant to do something with it a couple nights ago and left it on the counter overnight. So I threw away that pork because it definitely sat at like 50 degrees for several hours and that's no bueno. Um, if it had been like outside in the 30 degree temperature it would have been fine but if it goes over 40 degrees i think is the magic number then yeah and sits there for more than two hours it's uh it's no good it's no good so try not to forget your uh your raw meat on the counter yeah, 40 to 140. Yep, exactly. And I got up in the morning and I took the temperature of it just to make sure. And it was like 56 degrees. And I'm like, ah, let's, um, let's, uh, just get that. Oh, I was going to do some tricks to make this absorb flavor faster. And I didn't do that trick. Um, I need to put some hole. I need to make some sauce holes. Um, dang it. Now my hands are goopy. It's all right. It's all right. Clay is too busy over there playing with Roadhog. Yeah, I'm still stabbing it. I just have a... <laughs> I don't have a place to put... I need to make sure I get all the pieces. And don't stab too hard because I'm kind of stabbing towards my hand. And by kind of, I mean I am absolutely stabbing towards my hand. So, don't do this. They would absolutely tell you not to do this in any sort of cooking instructional video. I am showing you what not to do. Friends, Romans, countrymen, do not stab towards yourself. I am a quasi-professional. <laughs> oh, goodness. And Nasser would know, being a professional cutie himself. I suppose I could also be doing this with like a fork and that would be slightly safer but my hands were dirty and so I couldn't really go into the fork drawer. <laughs> uh, yeah, a skewer would have been great too. I could have even used like a bamboo skewer. I think that's all the pieces. And if it's not, and one little piece of this is less well seasoned than the others, then I'll deal with it. But I wasn't dredging. <laughs> I'm just marinating. Also, if I had like a vacuum sealer, I would put this in there because that would help this the flavor get imparted much faster. Um, but I don't like, like, it just, 
irks me that you like unwrap this thing from plastic and then rewrap it in more plastic. So I really try not to use excess plastic. I know, exactly. Clay has talked about it. He's like, oh, you could get like so much meat. You could get a meat share from the thing and I don't know. Clay also kind of thinks that um, in actions on an individual basis don't make a difference. But if everyone did the thing, even if a million people did the thing, that's that's real differences. So, whatever. I still like to have some hope for this planet. Okay, so that's marinating. I need to start my apples. So, I'm gonna make my apple filling for the empanadas, which has to cook down and then cool down before I can put it in there. Because this dough is delicious, but needs to stay cold until it goes in the oven. Yes, like I've got my Nalgene bottle that I use at the gym all the time. Plus my Nalgene bottle I use here at home. Plus, it's a great place to like put your stickers. And you don't want to put your stickers on a disposable thing. Like, I know some people who put stickers on their laptops. I could never bring myself to do that. Like, it feels strange. Open up, Susie. Meow. See, I don't really like cold water. I tend to prefer like, I generally use like the slightly colder than room temperature. in cold water. See, I'm not even using my bench scraper now. I just picked it up with my hands. We still haven't found Clay's favorite variety of apples for sale anywhere this year. We didn't go up to the apple country, but it hasn't been like coming to the local farmer's markets either. No, it's not that I put, not that I think laptops are disposable for stickers. I'm just like, it seems like a weird place. I feel like it's uh, gonna hurt the computer. I don't know. It's weird. I mean, I've literally owned three laptops in my life. I had them for about five years each and now this one is my one that I've had for the last five years. <laughs> so I'm not like going through them. But I just, I wouldn't want to put stickers on it. I don't know. Oh, he likes Arkansas Black. Okay. So here's my apples. I'm going to put some butter in here and some sugar. And basically just cook it down until it makes like a little caramely, apple-y lovely goodness 12 years goodness i 
I know. It's just... It's weird. It's weird. I'm weird. I understand this. Can I put some salt in my caramel apples? What? I wonder if I want to put some lemon juice in there, too. I think I'll go for it. Oh yeah, so you weren't you weren't using the laptop exclusively. I didn't have that was the this laptop has been was my only computer until I just got my desktop. I need to put some sugar in here still. That's why I left my sugar out and pull my uh, lemon seeds out. Don't leave your lemon seeds in there. Fred, hello, welcome in. How you doing? I'm not gonna put my hands in my sugar bag until I dry them off. And I don't know where my measuring cup went. So I'm not gonna use it. There we go. X amount of sugar. Okay, so this can just literally sit here. It's on my back burner. It's on the Put a cover on it. it just, it's just gonna sit there and cook away. I do not have a Valentine's Day dish planned. I don't have any dishes planned. I don't have anything planned beyond like the current day. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my steak ready. So I'm gonna use this steak for the Wellington empanadas, which means I need to kind of cube it up and then lightly sear it and then let it cool down. Oh, I got stew meat, so I don't need to cube it up at all. I do need to season it though. More salt, apparently. So I've got my wet hand, my steak hand, and I've got my non-steak hand so I can reach into my salt container. You can go pretty liberal with this salt. This is going to sit there and then absorb in. Is there a snack? Is there a snack? I gave you a snack. Oh, my snack was lunch. I gave uh, you some nuts. Oh, right. That was... Have a muffin. Are there more olives? Yes, there's more olives. You got bigger containers. Maybe. Yes, because you complained that my container was too small last time. I didn't complain. I suggested getting a bigger one for more dealers. Not everything I say is a complaint. You said that you needed more... Spend my points to grow a new hand. Can you pour some more salt on this? Oh. You need the container. 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 That's empty. Back there. Right? Here. Here's a snack. Um, we're trying to go in. Tartar. Um, Why didn't you use the one that's already open? You're asking a lot of questions for someone who's barely paying attention to anything. Why did you not perform the easier, right. faster task? That wasn't what I was trying to do. I'm gonna go back to my game. What are you doing? Why I you... don't know. Why did you put the lid back on? I... <laughs> Ugh. There was an open container that he could have used. Um, you have it or do I need to come back and finish it? No, I got it. You could... Okay. You could throw away the stuff that you left on my cutting board. See, this is why he thinks I'm mean to him. He thinks he's in trouble when I'm just asking him why he didn't perform a simpler task. Or perform the task in the most simple way. There was a thing right there. Anyway. Anyway. 
I'm gonna let this salt sit on here while I prepare other stuff for my Wellingtons. I wasn't even gonna do these Wellington things, but he's like, I want some steak. So I capitulated for some reason. Right? <laughs> I mean, you saw me with my container of salt that I was using that was already open, and he went and found the other container of salt to go open it for some reason, and then he ran out of time because his Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch match was starting. Anyway, what am I doing? What am I doing? I need to chop some potatoes. So normally the, my potatoes would be on the side, for Wellington. Since I'm doing these like a pasty, I'm just gonna put them inside. But I'm also going to pre-cook them a little bit because um, I'm not cooking a big thing of puff pastry. I'm cooking some other pa- Oh, I should make that other pastry right now. That's what I should do because it needs to chill before I can use it. This is why I wrote things down. Okay, let's get my scale. So, if you ever need, oh no, the panda's here. We're not eating you, I swear. Um, so, <laughs> sorry. Um, if you ever need a recipe, an easy dough recipe, you should keep this one in your back pocket because it's so easy and it's pretty delicious um, and it's so simple to remember. It is equal weights of butter, cream cheese, and flour. And then you add a little salt. And that's it. That's your recipe. So it's so easy because you get two sticks of butter or one double stick of butter like this. Um, I also might not need any salt because I think this is salted butter. Uh, yeah, there's a, well, 100 milligrams of sodium. I'll probably add a little bit more salt too. It doesn't need anything else. It works well for sweet and savory applications, but one block of cream cheese, one cup of butter or two sticks of butter or however you like to measure those things, and the same amount of flour. And then you just mix it all together. Just lick the bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would work. But it's also a dough that really needs to be cold when you're using it, or else it will be very sticky. So, mix everything together, then chill it. Are you back? Do I need to put anything away? No. no. I did it already. Alright, I left you in the lurch. Yeah, you did. Alright. I'm a dork. Just you lick away the butter to see if it's salty. That way. Are you salty? Wow. Yeah. I was salty earlier. Am yeah. I salty now? <laughs> no. <laughs> I took a shower after the gym. You could go run my stream raiders for me. Hold on, hold on. Oh, he can't. He asked if he could do things and they came and washed his hands and then went away. I'm just, you're pulling yourself in a million directions. Salty like a pirate? Talk like a pirate day isn't until September. 
And it's really easy to bring this dough together with your hands, just like I'm doing here. Um, you can also do it in a food processor if you have one of those. But this is pretty easy, especially when it's not a hot day. Like I wouldn't recommend doing it this way in the summer um, or even when you have already turned the oven on. But since I don't have any heat on in the kitchen, except for that one little tiny burner, this is kind of working. Um, you do not want the, uh, the sun hands to do this. But it comes right together. Real simple. And then just throw it in the fridge to firm up because if you feel it right now, it is slightly greasy because it's just cream cheese and butter. <laughs> um, so definitely get it into the fridge. Got a Tupperware somewhere. I've got this container just sitting right here. Like people love to just wrap these in plastic. Why wrap it in plastic? Put it in a heck in Tupperware. I've also got a huge container of um, snickerdoodle dough. It's equal weights of flour. Um, I did not measure the volume. Um, so you want approximately equal weights. Amazon, how many cups is 227 grams of flour? 227 grams of flour is equivalent to about one and three quarters cups of flour. So about one and three quarter cups of flour if you don't have a scale. But if you have a scale, then it should be equal amounts to the butter and the cream cheese. So approximately 225-ish grams of each. Because that's an easier number to remember than 227. But yeah, that's a great... Yeah, I did have a scale. I had a scale under there. I'm also gonna dice up my potatoes so I can cook them off. I would like for, I'm making it in the style of a pasty. I'm just putting different ingredients in. If I was doing a pasty, it would have um, carrots. These are carrots for something else. Don't worry about those. Um, carrots, potatoes, turnips, and Perhaps mm -hmm. something else? Ooh, potatoes. Oh, you're using the fingerlings. I am. Um, you need a drink. You can refill my wine. Okay. Um, it's not even empty. Can it be refilled if it's not empty? Yes, because it's not full either. Where is that wine? Over here. <laughs> you let me walk out of the room when that was already here. <laughs> I also let you open a new thing of salt, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> let me, you know. Your domain over here. What? Your domain? Yes. Yes, I briefly allow the husband into my kitchen. We've both, like, got two rooms in the house that the others don't really use. He's got his 3D printing room. I've got my gym. What is the matter? He does love to tell me that I should clean up this bathroom in the hallway, but I hardly ever use it. It's, it's the guest bathroom, but he prefers it. He prefers that toilet, at least. So, 
I've got to clean it even though he's the one making the mess. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to put in these pasties. I don't think so. I've got some salami to put on because it was conveniently portioned. Yeah, I agree, Robo. <laughs> the salami was conveniently portioned and cheaper than the prosciutto. just gonna keep letting those cook down and as the liquid evaporates it's just gonna turn into a caramel which is gonna be lovely cypher hello welcome in enjoy your day of work if you like cute dogs from Australia definitely check out cypher perfect where your partner had the same level of fun <laughs> Um, I feel like one partner in the relationship needs to have a low threshold for that. Or else, if both of them have too high of a threshold, that could be bad news. Okay. So now I can sear my steak, because I want to sear my steak um, to get a crust on it and to get it brown, but I don't want to cook it all the way through because it's gonna bake for another 15 to 20 minutes in the empanada, in the um, in the dough. So I just want to give it a good sear and then take it off and get it chilled so I can then chop it up and mix it in with the filling. <laughs> right? Um, we just need more visitors. Y'all gotta come visit because that's when Clay gets motivated to clean the house. Is when we're gonna have visitors. <laughs> I'm the kind of person that does like little cleanup y tasks on a daily basis. But I hate like the big like we're gonna sit down and clean the house for hours now. Like I I hate that. But I will pick up the clutter, get like clean stuff up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let this pan get hot. Got a little more of this butter that I'm gonna put in that pan for flavor. Like our house used to get cleaned like top to bottom on a regular basis because we'd have like a group of 20 to 30 people over for like a weekend of board gaming once every other month or so. Um, but once, uh, once COVID hit, that was not a thing we were doing. Yeah. Um, it was, we did a big potluck. We had four tables, five, five tables set up. So there were a group, like four to six people at each table. <laughs> Two to three people over is your limit. Um, yeah, four to six people at each of the five tables playing board games. And we just played board games all weekend. It was, it was a nice time. And it wasn't usually 20 to 30 all at once they would cycle in and out throughout the day. So, I mean, 20 was about how many people were in. There was like maybe 30 or 40 people total. That's worse that they were cycling in and out. How is that worse? See, Clay's like favorite thing is board games. His favorite thing to do with other people. Multiple. <laughs> How do I phrase this? <laughs> His favorite. Um, 
general fun time activity. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna stop. Um, he loves board games. <laughs> Robo knows. Robo comes to our board game soirees, get togethers. Robo and his boyfriend. Yeah, but since we haven't done them since COVID started, so we just do like the small get togethers of like, yeah. Two to four people coming over to play games. Um, nothing, nothing at all, Robo. Nothing. Why would I be insinuating anything? Team at work over. How big is your work team? Because. I definitely wouldn't want my work team over because I don't like those people in that way. Wow. Uh, and then that was what? One, two, three, four, five. That was five guests, I want to say, at one time. <laughs> Dozen total, but someone brought a big outdoor tent. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that was your that was your work thing. Okay, because the MFF was and it was me and Clay, and Merle, and um, Malkier and Purecki, right? Was there anyone else at the same time? I mean, um, Haas and Rare were the day before, but the five could have eaten outside. We could have, I suppose. Like, no. <laughs> it was so cold. Okay. Do I have tongs? How are my tongs? I have three sets of tongs in the dishwasher. So now I only have like giant tongs. They're only coming in here for a couple of minutes. Now I'm kind of thinking that I want to put a carrot in there too, but then they're going to be too, they're going to be too, um, too much like a pasty and not enough like a Wellington. Trying to do one. You still haven't run my battle. You still haven't run your battle. I never signed up to run your battle. I said you could. And then I you could. Like, I didn't sign up for it. Oh, okay. Free one. Hi, chat. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Let my drink. You're not your wine. It's a lot of wine. You yeah, you're drinking out of it, apparently. <laughs> Get your own wine? I did, right here, it's cup. <laughs> mm -mm. Flip my meat. Flip your meat? Um, yeah. Okay, it's getting cooked really fast. Yeah, it's small, but don't get flip it. Makes it hard to flip it so small. I think it's getting, uh, maybe, maybe it needs to be turned down a little bit. You're gonna... It needs to be turned down because it still needs to sear. Is this, it's going to be like, not even pink in the middle. It doesn't need to be pink. So much on one side. It's literally been in there for a minute. It's going to be like super well done. Okay, well if it's done already, then just pull it out. No, it's not, that one side. No, I, I definitely not done already, that one side. You probably didn't need half as much time on this side. Right, but it's going to cook more later. Oh, well then you Oh my goodness. I just gotta pull it. So I want it to cool down, but now I've got those lovely 
me juices. I'm gonna cook my um, potatoes in there. There's a little more salt. Although, I kind of think I need the onion now. Oh, that's what I haven't done. That's what I haven't done. I'm, I gotta make, I gotta mix it with the duck cell, which I haven't made yet. So the potatoes are on, I'm gonna make duck cell. That is the right mushrooms, okay. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I had a plan. I have now remembered the plan. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Best laid plans. <laughs> Only work if you remember what they were. Because I just... My, my drawback was that I just wrote down Wellington's Assuming I would like remember what the steps were for making Wellingtons and what all the ingredients were. I know I need mushrooms and mustard and prosciutto. But if I want the duck cell, I need to start cooking the duck cell. And y'all I do love Aeon, but I did want to tell him that the duck cell he made for his Wellingtons was not finely diced enough. He had big old chunks of mushroom in there. So. Right? Exactly. And I don't want to, like, contradict him, because I'm pretty sure he went to, like, formal culinary training of some sort. And I just, I do all my stuff haphazard. But when I uh, make my duck cell, it's definitely very finely chopped. Like, I absolutely should not have put mushrooms in before I put in my onions. And this is French, so we might as well throw in a bunch more butter. Yes, my French Wellington. It's kind of a weird recipe. Gotta get our mushrooms in there. And it's funny, I bought two different types of mushrooms because this one is going in the Wellington because they're fancy mushrooms that Clay will eat. Whereas when I make the cabbage rolls, because I assume he's not going to eat any cabbage rolls, um, with chashu in them, uh, I can put less fancy mushrooms in there that cost half as much because he's not going to eat it anyway. That's how I cook. <laughs> and I normally wouldn't cook mushrooms 
like this. But when you're making it XL, they do need to cook down for a pretty, pretty good amount of time. They need to get. I know, right? Is Nerdy a picky eater? <laughs> Have fun tonight, Robo. He is! <laughs> yeah, see? I'm sure you've got to make whatever you're making. <laughs> okay. Have fun tonight. No one tell Clay that there's snack, uh, snack salami. Not even a fact, because I haven't verified it. But interesting tidbit that I heard today is one of our local pizza chains. What? I just put... Oh, no seasoning. What? Oh, goodness. Um, I just heard today from my Pilates instructor, of all people, that one of our local pizza chains is no longer making their stuffed pizza it's chicago fire and so they've got their deep dish pizza and they could not discontinue that because i mean that's kind of the point of their place but um yeah apparently they used to make stuffed pizzas and people didn't like them so they're discontinuing them but i don't go there anyway because there's other better pizza places in town. I, I didn't say... Robo, I thought you were going to play D&D. &D. All of them? All locations? Yeah, as far as I know. I mean, I only know one location anymore. Is I don't know if their one in Folsom is still open. I think their downtown location is still open. And I think of what other preparatory things I can do. I can rip off a couple of pieces of cabbage for my cabbage rolls. So I bought this Napa cabbage, which is a heckin' beast. It is massive. It was two dollars. How did okay, Clay got it in here. I don't even know how I'm gonna get it out without like destroying it. Right? And I could make, I guess I could make some kimchi. I mean, I'm only using like eight leaves of it tonight. Because there's such heckin' chonkin' leaves. I know, we love kimchi, but... <laughs> I've made it before. Okay. I'm going to peel off all these outer leaves for using. And then it'll fit in the bag a little better. You got to wash them because there's a bunch of dirt <laughs> on the bottom of the leaves. And it's okay if they're a little bit wilted, because we're steaming them anyway, so they're just going to get more wilted. Okay. That should be plenty. I don't know what I'm... I don't know what I'm doing with the rest of this. This behemoth... Behemoth of a head of cabbage. The last time I made kimchi, I made watermelon rind kimchi. And of course, 
my picky eater would not touch it. But I kind of loved it. I made fried rice with that watermelon rind kimchi. It was pretty heckin' tasty. You just gotta it marinate so it gets real soft. And then you dice it up and it's just little crunchy bits. It's great texture. Doesn't taste like, and it's, it felt like so good to not throw away all the rind after you cut up your watermelon for eating. Because it's just so much. Yeah, I would have eaten your kimchi. And so would Clay. Clay does like kimchi. He just doesn't like, he wouldn't. I don't know if he liked the watermelon kimchi because he wouldn't try it. And the funny thing about Clay's eating habits is that, yes, he's picky, but also he will assume he doesn't like something and not try it. Yeah, I'm getting dispersed over here. No, <laughs> I'm just saying that if you do have it in your head that you're not going to like something, you won't even try it. And then when he does try it, he's like, eh, meh, gross, terrible. Mm -hmm. When he didn't even like put it in his mouth. Okay, I need to watch those more. You're missing a lot. <laughs> Just getting the dirt off. Well, yeah, you can get the dirt and the other stuff off. But they're not lost. So anyway, you love them, but you're also like, eat the food I give you, and don't make excuses as to why you're not eating it if you don't want it. Just say you don't want it. You okay? Okay. I mean, in general, I'm not picky. I'll eat almost anything. Almost. Eggs. But also... <laughs> but I have times when I don't want certain things. That's also fine. But he tried to tell me that my cake was gummy when he didn't even taste it. Maybe it was just out of the fridge. So it was not out of the fridge. It had been on the counter. It was room, It was lovely in room temperature. You didn't even taste it! I did. I ate two bites. Before. You didn't eat two bites, Lee, but like the little tiniest, little tiny bit in your mouth. And you're like, I don't like it. It's gummy. It was not. It absolutely was not. I have witness testimony from five other people that ate it and said it wasn't gummy. It was a lovely cake. It was just peanut butter and jelly, and he doesn't like peanut butter and jelly. So... And it's fine. I just don't want him to say it's gummy cake, because it wasn't. Just say I don't like it because it's peanut butter and jelly. Just say, just say the reason. Just say the reason. I don't like it. I That's fine, but it wasn't I gummy. Like That's fine. I don't care. I just care that you tried to say it was gummy as an excuse. Don't call my cakes gummy when they were lovely, lovely heckin' cakes. Yeah, don't, no one, no one listen to Bond's opinions on food. You'll, you'll just get in trouble with your stomach. Gummy bears in the cake. I still think the best thing, one of the best things that I accidentally did was make an Italian meringue buttercream out of gummy bears. <laughs> like, there was no reason it should have turned out nicely, but it did, and it was amazing. And look at that. Just sitting there on the stove. I didn't do shit to these. I just threw some shit in a pan and let it cook on low, and those are some caramel apples for you. Ah, oh, ah, oh, delicious. Oh, I just want to eat it. Eat it with a spoon. Just, who needs, who needs heckin' empanadas? Just eat these. I'm gonna put them in the fridge so I can put them in empanadas. Oh, and I forgot that I left the cinnamon stick in there. <laughs> so they're cinnamony too. Potholes or bats? What? It's okay, I mean, I, I would just have fed all the cake to Caskey. Oh, I just want to eat this caramel now. 
Vaughn, here's a pan for you to lick. And it's just caramel. We're over here, we gotta protect Vaughn from himself. So, let's get my pork in the oven. Okay. So, you put it on a rack so it can get airflow. Um, which is good for cooking it on all sides. And you also put uh, water in to s let it kind of kind of steam, kind of halfway steam. I do want them pretty well separated, but I think they're going to touch a little bit, but that's fine. I'm going to... Fit these all on here somehow. It's like playing Tetris with overlaps. Okay. And do not eat that sauce because it is full of raw pork. I should have turned the oven on a while ago because <laughs> it's got to get pretty hot. I'm not even, I'm not keeping track of what I'm doing today. I have no concept of what time is today. This is going to cook for like 40 minutes. <laughs> gonna get my um my honey in there so I've got my basting liquid ready because can't have char siu pork without having an additional source of sugar good. And hot water. And the hot water is really just to help you melt that all together. Oh, that's the other thing I can do. I can start getting my together for the other empanadas. Woo. Okay, so I'm also kind of just winging this, but I got some honey goat cheese. Texting between deaths. Bond just don't die.
So I've had this guava paste for a while and never a place to use it. So I kind of think this might be the place to use it. Also an inconvenient like package. Like, I feel like there should be a better way of packaging and selling guava paste. And now that I'm saying guava paste, I feel like I should have used this in the char shoe because it is going to be very sweet. And, but also not like just sugar. See, I'm not even sure if I've gotten all the plastic off of here. I think I did, I think I did. But hopefully we're not eating plastic. Guava paste. I read that briefly as quake paste and I was um, not sure what that was. Microplastics are harmless. I know, right? That's why we use them. Um, we always get uh, the, um, the little beads in our soap because microplastics, who cares, right? Guava paste mixed with my goat cheese. And then you know what? I think I can move this cutting board so that I have a place to roll out some dough. They got out our juicer like days, weeks? At least a week ago, because it was on stream when he picked the oranges the other week. And he never juiced any oranges. So I'm just gonna cut some strawberries into this and this will be my other filling. Yeah, I was surprised that I found strawberries at the store today. I'm sure they're, like, from Mexico. Which is not uh, aligned with my preference of buying local produce. But it's funny, because we do have... Like, it's weird. We go to our local farmer's market, and they will have strawberries from, like, down the road. And then they'll also have strawberries from San Diego. And I'm like, why are you trucking your strawberries up here from San Diego when we have strawberries that were literally grown just down the road? <gasps> Is that the secret to being skinny, Bon? Microplastics. Fill up on microplastics because they don't have any calories. I really need to play Celeste for like 10 minutes. What? Yeah, just to get some video. Because I wrote a, I, I wrote alternate lyrics to a Steven Universe song that does not make sense unless I have video of me failing to get strawberries in, uh, in Celeste. <laughs> I'm like, this makes sense. This is great lyrics, um, but I've never played Celeste. Because the lyric is, I'll never get those strawberries. And then ideally it would like cut to scenes of me 
getting strawberries and dying and being very frustrated. Where, in reality, I'm just frustrated because I always lose my heckin' towel. Is the video game? It is true. It is the video game. I will, but then I gotta record it, so I've gotta do it on stream. Or I guess I could just record it without streaming, but who does that? That's weird. Um, okay. That is my... one of my empanada fillings. Damn it, don't bully me into playing Celeste. I swear I'll do it at some point. <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm gonna, put my, I'm gonna put my fork in. Because that needs to start. <gasps> You're gonna say hurry on me. I mean, that just makes me want to not play so that I'll get hurried, sicked on me. Is hurry gonna stand over me, looming, being like Quake? Why aren't you playing, why aren't you playing Celeste? It's like the best. I don't do a good hurry, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> should I be in a locker? I mean, I'm, I'm bigger than hurry. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. I'm One, I think I could bust out of a locker. Two, if anyone's gonna shove anyone in a locker, it's not me because I'm nice. And I guess three is that I would let Hurry shove me in a locker and then pull Hurry into the locker with me. Because locker cuddles, right? Those are a thing. <laughs> How would Celeste play me? I mean, it's going to play me, because I'm going to be bad at it. And see, even, even with refrigeration, this dough is still pretty soft. So lots of flour for rolling it out. And do half at a time, so you can keep the other half in the fridge. Put me in a locker just makes me think of, of um, Dead by Daylight. It's amazing how many... Did my music stop? My music stopped. It's amazing how many people I talk to that are like, yeah, I play Dead by Daylight. I'm a gamer. I'm like... I guess. Um, I don't really watch Dead by Daylight streams anymore. I kind of got bored with it. I realized I didn't have fun playing the game, so I don't play the game, and then I don't really watch it, because I don't really care about it if I'm not playing it. I know a lot of people love to play it and stream it, but I'm like, eh, it's not for me. The other lovely thing about soft dough is that it rolls out so nicely. And it's not, I mean, it's not gluten-free, but it's not, like, glutinous, so it doesn't stretch back on you. But definitely keep it well-floured. I feel like I have way too much filling for the amount of dough that I made. I'm gonna have to make more dough <laughs> off stream. Ooh, delicious. 
delicious mushroom pieces. Okay. I set a 10 minute timer because then I need to turn my oven down. Now I'm gonna cut some. I feel like I need pretty big rounds of this. So I think I'm gonna use my biggest cutter. Not quite big enough. There we go. That's approximately half my dough and it made six. And it'll make another one or two out of the scraps. Probably two, probably two. I'm gonna place those on my tray. Yeah, and you can tell I did not necessarily breathe, uh, flour my um, rolling mat well enough because they are sticking a little bit, but that's why we have our bench scraper. Or this is our pallet knife, actually. Because that'll help us. And since the top is lovely and uh, lovely texture, you just put the uh, sticky part on the inside. Easy. 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 Put this back in the fridge. That's all I need. And of course, now I need my cutting board again. So I need to chop up my steak. I have a knife somewhere. it's still pink inside like that's pinkish because it's still gonna cook some more it's not gonna cook with direct heat so it's not gonna get a lot of extra cooking also because I did cool it down but that's fine that's just how you make a Wellington anyway Although you generally make a boil into a much fancier meat than this. Five years. Okay. Meat is cut. I'm gonna get a, another bowl. Cause you can't do a cooking stream without using every bowl. I lost my, no there it is.
That's why I've got the knife emote, Bon. There are two knife emotes. Okay. So normally in a Wellington, you would have layers. You'd have a layer of your duck cell, and then you'd have your meat in the middle. But this is a less hoity-toity Wellington. It's going to be like a hand pie. So I'm just going to mix this part. Pork juice? There's no pork juice. It's a steak. I mean, there is pork juice, but it's in the, it's in the oven. Hot. It's hot. It's so hot. But it's also delicious. I'm gonna put that in the fridge briefly. But yes, I'm sorry to say, Bond, that the um, the meat juices were cooked enough. There is no raw juices anymore. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna do another set of um, empanadas. Put that in the freezer. Cool down faster. <gasps> Evan, hello. My goodness. I was just looking at you on Twitter earlier. Although I see Evan on Instagram all the time. Heck, I'm working out. Getting fucking beefy as hell. My goodness. I wish I could work out with Evan because... I feel like I would have heckin' gains. <laughs> Gotta go tutor a kid. Enjoy your tutoring, Fred. Thank you for hanging out. If you like classic video games and leather, definitely go give Detector a follow. Let's twitch on her pride soon. I feel like I'm gonna see a bunch of that. I did not roll that out as well as I did the last one. Oh well. Oh, it's next week. Wow. Maybe I'll win that thing. <gasps> Harissa chicken. Oh, I made something like that the other day. And it was delicious. Where did I put the... Oh, I left it on the counter. got room for two more on there, so let's roll out some more. Dolph of Greek yogurt, too spicy. Too spicy. But 
I'm doing fine. I am, uh, I have no idea where I am schedule-wise for what I'm doing right now. I still need another, like, half an hour on this pork to cook. <laughs> So I've got the initial sear on my chashu, and I've turned it down, and now it I should set a timer. <laughs> Gives me easy cook for another like 20 minutes, or no. <laughs> easy cook for 15 minutes, and then I need to flip it. Although I do just love Greek yogurt in general. And hi, still water is too spicy. Wait, isn't sparkling spicier than still? Am I, have I been drinking water wrong stirring? Also hi stirring. How are you tonight? We had a clay in there in the background. He says hello. Um, the pork, uh, no, the pork won't have to get to room temperature because I'm doing that in cabbage. So that'll be my cabbage rolls and I'm not worrying about my cabbage leaves melting. This dough will melt if I put hot things on it, so. That's why I'm being careful with that. This dough is lovely and delicious, but it is, it is, um, temperamental. This is still hot. Still hot. It's too damn hot. It is delicious, but it's too damn hot. Oh, so good. God damn. I don't usually toot my own horn, but that's some delicious second filling. Okay. Yes. Well, the dough, so I'm lazy and I'm making one dough for both the Wellington and for the dessert empanadas. And I have one filling that is cold, so I'm going to make those empanadas first. And this is some um, sweet goat cheese and quince paste and strawberries. And of course, I bet I am filling them too full because it is so tempting to just fill them to capacity. Because I got all this filling and I'm like, I want to use it all, but I should really take some out. No, no coleslaw. No, no soggy bottoms. Okay. I'm gonna seal these up. Say we're fine. We're fine. Just pinching it closed. And I've not tested this filling before. I am assuming it's going to work. Because uh, I am a professional. I'm not a professional. Um, but I think it's going to be fine. I think it'll be fine. Like, I know it tastes good. I know the dough is solid. 
More of an appetite. Spawn needs. I, I mean, Bond, come over. I'll feed you. Amazon. Set 20 minute timer. 20 minutes. Starting now. Okay. I'm just. I'm trying not to snack on everything. I have all these fillings and things that are lovely and ready to go, and I just want to eat them. But I should not. Uh, just look at this. It's so lovely. And there is a lemon seed in here. Let's just get that lemon seed right out. I mean, it's just caramel apples. There's, like, no way to go wrong with this. Okay. Hopefully it'll work. Hopefully it's not too warm. I'm gonna have to do a lot of baking tomorrow. Good thing I'm working from home, cause I'm gonna have a lot of like extra fillings and things. That's gonna need to go into something. Cause I don't wanna just toss it. It's one of my one of my least favorite things is throwing away food. That's also a lemon seed. Probably stuff a little bit more in that one. Okay. And one of the nice things about this dough is it pinches together so nicely. You don't have to like fold it over and crimp it. Like one of the things about it being a soft dough is it just pinches together real nicely. Is that even the right terminology over there? What terminology? Didn't you just say it was a wipe? Yeah. It's playing Overwatch. I like haven't heard wipes as like except for when everyone dies in um like I'm an MMO. There we go. Perfect. Amazon. Set 20 minute timer. Okay. I could literally just eat the rest of this. I would go into like a sugar coma if I did. And of course I made all the dessert first, so now I need to make actual food. Which means stir this up some more to release the steam. And then maybe put it in the freezer. <laughs> So it'll cool down faster. But this is my Wellington filling. It's almost cold enough. Of course I said keep this in the fridge and then I didn't put it in the fridge. To prepare an ice bath. I always mention the um, the blast chiller once Robo's gone, because <laughs> Robo loves to tease me about getting a blast chiller, and I'm like, I have nowhere to put a blast chiller. My kitchen is stuffed to the gills with gizmos and things. 
I just don't know where I would put anything else. You're fine. Evan, what have you been baking lately? I know a million people in Atlanta right now and that I should visit Atlanta. It's Harry's birthday. Do you expect Chris to make a momofuku birthday? <gasps> what? Please tell me about the Momofuku birthday cake, because Momofuku is heckin' delicious. We love Momofuku. Y'all, Momofuku is this amazing ramen place that we went to. They've got one in, um, we went there in New York, and we went there in, um, Vegas. But they're so heckin' good. And it's not like a pretentious place. They're very cool about like cooking in front of you and talking to you about what they're doing, which is great. Over well, we here trying to make room for my last couple of um, dealies over here, if I can get three out of this. Oh, it's the Momofuku Milk Bar. Oh, okay. I feel like I didn't need to cut that one out. I could have just used that entire bit of dough. But that's all right. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm being consistent. Okay. Don't need this anymore. I think I can now do my, my Wellingtons. So I need a piece of salami in each of these and that's why I got my biggest cutter because I needed it to be bigger than the piece of salami oh now I got snack and salami I do need some mustard though I mean, Bond, so does, so do we. I mean, that's, that's just what a charcuterie board is. It's just a, a socially acceptable way to eat a bunch of salami and cheese. I made so much filling. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know what to do with all this filling. Although I bet it makes some like great fried rice. There is a bunch of cookie dough still. I was smart and I made a bunch of cookie dough. And it's just in the fridge waiting to be baked. I do need to bake a bunch of it so I can send it off to people. Okay, I need to flip. I need to flip my dough, my meats. Flip the meats. I need to find a place for everything in this kitchen. to steam. I had a thing, there it is. <laughs> Cause I put it off in the corner. There we go. There's my meat that's cooking. It's heavy. Six inch six layer cake with two six round cake, cake crunchies. Frosting with buttercream bar cream cheese and the cake layer is a big cake pop. Oh my goodness. It's soaked into vanilla milk? My goodness. That is that is a heckin' construction. Well, I hope it was delicious. I've had a lovely time. And you know what's funny is I made buttercream the other day and I kind of wanted to just see if I could mix cream cheese into a buttercream frosting and the internet said I could. And so I just made a, a Italian meringue buttercream and then whipped a block of cream cheese into it and then I whipped a heck ton of um, peanut butter into it too and I made the most lovely vanilla butter or vanilla peanut butter buttercream which is great because I didn't have any powdered sugar which was the whole reason that I had to make an entire meringue so I was I was very glad that it worked out and it honestly I know it was great I'm surprised that it worked out as well as it did. It had no right to. Like, by any reasoning, I was just throwing shit in a pan or into a into a mixing bowl and beating it together. And somehow it turned into deliciousness. Yeah. I was uh, I was I was chuffed. And for y'all who aren't uh, familiar with UK lingo, chuffed means pleased. I should have left this a little thicker. Cause some of these spots are a little bit thin. That's why we have our little uh, extra bit of dough over here. To just seal seal the hole. <laughs> It's fine. No one will know. No one will know. Right. 
This almost makes me want one of those little dealies that you like put a circle of dough into and then it like squeezes it together for you into the perfect little dumpling. But I feel like I would not use that enough to justify having it. Okay. Is everything good? Now this one needs a little bit more. I'm just throw some extra little bits of dough on things until they look good. Yeah, that one's that one's busting through. Coming apart at the seams. Okay, there we go. There we go. Didn't even need this one. Like a little bit more. Do I have two timers on Amazon? I do. I don't even know what that first timer was. I gotta wait for one of my um, dessert empanadas to come out of the freezer, <laughs> freezer, out of there before I can put this other one in. But I can clean up a little bit. Oh, I can cut my other, um, I can cut the other fillings for my other thing that I'm making. So this just needs to sit somewhere. I can bring my cutting board back. Because I have some other stuff to chop. Well, let's leave some scallions. And some, I literally just, okay. And some portobello, not portobellos, shiitakes. So those are going to go in with my char shoe when it comes out. I haven't done a ton of baking. Where you made a boosh? You made a boosh? I did not make a boosh. I don't think I baked anything this year for the holidays. Clay, did I bake for the holidays? I don't I don't think I baked anything that I didn't bake on stream. So I probably didn't make anything. I know I didn't do um I think I usually do gingerbread with the kids around the holidays, but I didn't do that this year. Yeah, I feel like I was pretty lazy. And it's funny because I've been looking at recipes for um, rugula. Because I really like making rugula. And I haven't made any yet. So maybe I should, but I kind of made... I mean, it's a holiday. It's a holiday cookie. And I feel like I missed it. Although the other holiday cookie that I missed, apparently, because it was supposed to be made, like, weeks ago, um that I plan to make for Mardi Gras instead is a king cake. Because it's very similar to making a, um, a babka. It's just not baked in the same configuration. You bake it in a ring. Um, I just fed, I just ate the rest of our arugula the other day. Um, but yeah, I even have a baby to bake into the king cake. Like, do y'all know, do y'all know about the baby? Do y'all know about the little plastic baby? <laughs> Speaking of microplastics. Um, <laughs> yeah, 
you bake the baby into your king buts, cake. Buts, buts, and whoever gets the baby is supposed to make the king cake the next year. Although, I feel like I would just bake it every year. <laughs> Eat the baby and choke it. I know. They get the thing out of the. Get the thing out of the oven. Get the thing thing. Oh, which oven? There's only one oven that's going. Okay, nice, nice comeback there. What am I taking out? Top one. Yeah, not the top. Not the top tray. The middle. The middle. <laughs> they exploded and you rolled them too thin. The dough looks really rough. Oh no, the dough looks rough. Amazon! Stop! What are those? Those ones? You're, uh, it's awfully pink inside. Yeah, it's strawberries. I. Rugla is not going to be spicy to me. Bond the problem. Amazon. Uh, Set uh, 20 minute timer. Rewind. Did you know there's wine here for me? Yeah. It's got both our names on it, this cup. I guess it does. What are dishes? One cup, two mouths. One cup, two mouths? What is that all that for? Is that this mushroom? Is, yes. Can I eat some of that? What? Of what? Yeah, that's just the strawberry filling. I think those need longer. They're fine. They're done. No. The dough's not done. It is done. Don't touch the dough. It's... Touch the dough. Or did you not egg wash them? No, I didn't egg wash them. It gets. Just a little water then. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm all bad. You're on a yellow diet. True. It did kind of split, but that's fine. Split a little bit, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's crispy. Just gonna keep eating this. You can't eat pink things? I can't serve this to you? Is the dough yellow enough? Can you eat the inside when it's pink? Ooh. Lovely. No soggy bottom. Just show them the bottom side, where it's more colored. I guess I could flip it over and put it back in the oven. No big idea. It'll make Clay happy at least. We've got to appease the husbands. Just look at them on that side. They look lovely.
Yeah, those ones didn't get quite as much color. The ones on the bottom get the best color. Okay. Right? <laughs> no appeasing the husbands. Eat what I give you. Amazon. Set a five minute timer. Five minutes. Sorry, man. Amazon should pay me for using their. I don't do that. You don't. You don't. Uh, wow. I was just saying Amazon should pay me for using their uh, devices on my stream. But they don't know that. They don't know how to pay people. I say is I need I still need to download my whatever tax form from Amazon for like the $300 <laughs> that I made last year. Which is fine. No one sub. I don't I'm not doing this for money. I just like hanging out with y'all, making my little silly cooking show. I mean, that's what I gotta do to Clay. He just gets in the way, off, often. Right? I do find it a little silly. Oh, I turned off the oven. Woohoohoo! Okay. Um. How much time do they need? Uh, 20 minute timer should be about right. Amazon! Set. 10 minute timer. Second timer. 10 minutes. Starting now. You can do that? I didn't know you could leave the money there. I feel like I could just turn it into like bits for giving other people money. Can I just, can I use that money for bits and subs to think? That'd be nice. Yeah, I get like three or four payouts a year of a hundred bucks. <laughs> so it's, it's not... It's not significant, but it was significant enough that they sent me like a, a 1099 or whatever. Uh, I guess it kind of is those colors. No, it's not specifically. It's a, this is a, um, I mean, it's just a generic nasty pig tank top that I got years ago that I was excited for because it fit again and it matches my shorts my shorts that say meat on them because it matched meat but no it's not specifically anything i'm not repping anything with the tank top couple pieces of those, of those pork early, since I'm going to cook them in the cabbage rolls. That actually sounds like a great idea. So I'm going to baste them. Oh no, reps. Ugh. Oh my legs. I did Pilates today. We did a lot of glute stuff. <laughs> ah! Okay, we're good. We're good. And go run Stream Raiders real quick. <laughs> okay. This is. This can get out of my way. So I'm gonna baste 
face this meat over here. And I'm going to pull a couple pieces. Amazon! Stop! Okay. So Clay should be happier with that. And then I'm going to slice this up. Oh, look at that. That looks plenty done. So right now we're just getting extra caramelization on it. But it's plenty done to make my filling for some cabbage rolls. Mixing it with some mushrooms, some sh uh, whatever green onions are called, um, spring onions, that's not the word I'm looking for. What word am I looking for? Um, not chai, I, wow. Scallions, thank you, Nazard. <laughs> that is exactly the word I was looking for, and it was nowhere in my head. Uh, I was... I would have loved to say it was on the tip of my tongue, but it was not. Okay. Get those out of the way, because I do need some space. So I don't have any fancy steamer stuff, but I have a wok, and I have a little basket with some holes in it. And when you put the wok, the basket in the wok, then it becomes a steamer. And you fill it up with water until it's just barely not touching the dealy. And it becomes a steamer. Come try a scallion, Bon. Okay. So. You just take your big old cabbage leaf. Put some filling in it, and then wrap it up like a little burrito. I really no place to put these as like a transition. I should get a little to get this out. Why are there so many foods? There's a million different foods. I mean, there's gotta be a bunch of foods or else I wouldn't have things to cook every week. Ty, hello, Ty, hi. Welcome in, Ty Tiger, hello. Oh, so. I've got these carrots out. And the interesting thing about this, well, see, because that just flooped right out. So, interestingly enough, this recipe says use this carrot to tie 
your little parcel together. I don't feel like it's long enough. It's not long enough. That doesn't work at all. <laughs> I call bullshit on this. Terrible. Terrible. Can I go harder than that? I think that's as hard as the Hoya gets. That was pretty intense. Maybe I should use a heckin' toothpick? Do I have toothpicks? I do. Yeah, <laughs> I use the toothpick. <laughs> Like I, I had a feeling that the um, the carrot peel would not work very well, but yeah, I have been <laughs> vindicated. Oh my goodness, Clay turned up my audio really hot apparently, so I'm just listening to myself over there now. I even bought some more toothpicks. To people who can make rolls like this look pretty, I, do I, I am jealous. Clay is playing Overwatch, yes. Which only leads me to the question, Ty, why aren't you playing Overwatch with Clay? <laughs> Amazon, stop. I have so much cabbage and I have no idea what to do with it all. <laughs> Thank you, Ty. We were just talking about it. It is not specifically for me repping anything. But it is pretty, and I, I'm honestly, I just love purple, so that's pretty much why I have it. Oh no! Dang it! No! No! <laughs> I just lost half my filling. It spilled into the sink. Let's put it right in my steamer. Heck you, I'm gonna get you steaming. And of course it just unfolded immediately. How does one make cabbage rolls? Yeah, I don't know. I need some cabbage over here. Get my roughage. Yeah, don't, uh, absolutely do not follow my technique for these because this is not working very well. Wow, that one completely came apart as soon as I put it in there. Gonna eat all the fillings by themselves. <laughs> this carrot, this carrot did nothing. I feel like one of these is gonna come out nicely and that'll be plenty. That'll be plenty. You only need one. You only need one little look nice for the Instagram. Oh 
We've got like six chances for one of these to look nice. Good snacking food, though. Okay. So that should take 10 minutes. <laughs> this carrot. This carrot that did nothing. The useless carrot. What's near the knife? Knife? This was my container of toothpicks that I am almost out of. These are the ends of the cabbages. What? What are you looking at? This? My bench scraper? Avon, what are you looking at? Get this plate of things. Where's my thirties? Those look pretty nice though. I'm gonna just let those crisp up on the bottom a little bit more. Okay. You're looking good, you're looking good. You got a little bit more caramelized, but that's fine. But yes, I'm gonna, I gotta make a Gotta make a king cake in a couple of weeks with the baby in it. And then I have to entice people over to eat the king cake such that they can find the baby. Although you gotta warn the people that there's a baby in their cake. Did I set a timer? I didn't set a timer. Who knows? I'm gonna be right back. Okay, okay, okay. So what do I do with this cabbage? What do I do with all this cabbage? I feel like I'm gonna chop it up and make it into fried rice. Which means I need to make some rice. Should I make rice? It looks so much nicer on the bottom. Such nice bottoms. Okay. 
almost there. Put a little bit too much water in the dealie. Steaming barrier? <laughs> oh, yes. So all the rest of that charger, I'm going to turn to bow. But what we have so far, eat leftover dipping sauce. Nava does. Hello, welcome in. Happy Thursday. How are you doing? Cold? No. Why would I be cold? I have a bunch of uh, fire on in the kitchen, keeping me warm. Are you are you uh, in this time zone? <laughs> if you know that it's supposed to be cold, it is cold outside. It is um, 40, 47 degrees outside. It's forty-seven. What temperature are you? I don't know. I'm warm. Mm, you're warm. Ninety-eight point seven. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's warm in here. It's never. Anywhere between 68 and 74 in the house, all the time, year round. Unless it was 64 the other day. That's because <laughs> I turned the heater off overnight, and you never turn it on in the morning. So because I wasn't up, cold, because I didn't get there in the morning, and I warmed myself up. I'm really hungry, but I've been playing video games to keep myself up. We had snacks. Yeah. He needs some food. Oh, you cooked Look at this. More? Look at this. Did you cook those ones more? Yes. Because these strawberry ones... They're cooked. They're just not crispy like that. Can I eat this? Yes, you can eat that. Show the camera. 34 for me. Caramel apple and bananas. That's pretty cold. Green shirt guy is my husband. <laughs> oh, green shirt guy. But look at all this steam. Like, this steam is keeping me warm. There we go. Look at my cabbage roll. Let's pull another one out. Lovely. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be delicious. They're not the prettiest things, but the filling tastes good and they're just steamed in cabbage. So if you're trying to get some, um, Low carb rolls. <laughs> okay, and then let's get the uh, the other ones out of the oven. If I could find my oven mitt. And here's our Empanada Wellingtons. Uh, how do you pronounce that, Nazard? My goodness. Clay Dinner is here. I gotta get another one of these on the plate so I can take a picture of everything that I made. Problem with the steamed ones is they're a little bit damp. That's all right. So we've got dinner and dessert on one plate. Like guamp key? Yes, guamp key. Interesting. Okay. But yes, so we made our um, char shoe cabbage rolls, some Wellington empanadas, or some Wellington, Wellington pasties, I'm calling them pasties, 
just so I don't have to call these things also. And some dessert empanadas um, with caramel apple and with uh, strawberry goat cheese. Um, but it is time to eat. I'm going to go find someone to raid. Who is online? Who is online and doing the streaming on Twitch.television? Let's see. I haven't gone to. Oh, you know what? We could go see Featherfall. TST, hello. Welcome in. <laughs> Hi. Yes, just in time for raid. We have just finished making food. Um, I think we'll raid. Um, I feel like I raid Wiz all the time, but that's fine. Why not? Let's go see a Yeen playing. You know, I haven't raided Gurg in a while. Let's raid Gurg. I'm so... Um... <laughs> um... Indecisive about who I'm raiding. But that's fine. Gurg is playing Fortnite. I just don't raid... I don't, uh, I don't go watch, um, Dead by Daylight very much anymore, but Fortnite, that's, that's fun, and Gurg is fun, we love Gurg. Um, let's see, that's the one. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight as I made dinner, uh, we made a bunch of lovely wrapped foods, I got some cabbage rolls with our freshly made char -shoe pork. Um, some Wellington-inspired pasties and some dessert empanadas with caramel apple filling and with strawberry goat cheese filling. That is lovely. Um, please do make yourself some delicious foods. I hope you had a great night. Um, please send me pictures of whatever you made because I'm sure whatever you did is going to be good enough to eat. I will see you next time, probably Saturday, for some cozy crossword times. Uh, until then... Have a great rest of your night and a lovely Friday. I'll see you next time. Bye.